Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do subtitles in Camtasia. All right, so let me show you guys an example of some closed captioning subtitles that I did on a video for one of our clients. They are a security company and they we did videos for them like we filmed and edited some videos and then after they wanted some subtitles to be added to their videos. So I'm just going to play a little bit of the video so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. When you choose just security and sound, you can expect quality and reliability from the products we use to the service we provide. Our access control system installations are uniquely tailored to your needs and allow you to manage who enters and leaves your premises. Simply punch in a pre-authorized code, swipe a card or fob for access. All right, so you see all that text down at the bottom. That's subtitles or closed captioning. So you see all that text at the bottom, that is the subtitles that I'm going to show you how to add in your videos. Now let's head over to Camtasia and I have that same video that you just saw and we're going to do the exact same thing. Now to make this process easier, I found that you need to already know the script of the video it's going to make it go a lot faster you can do the manual way of typing it out as you hear it but that's obviously going to take longer so this works well if you've already got a script so when we did this video for this company Arit actually wrote out a script that you know the the voiceover was supposed to say so we already had the text ready to go, which makes it a lot easier to do this kind of process. If you have to listen to a video and do it manually, it's going to take longer. Okay, so now that we have the video, let's go to the closed captioning area. So you want to click captions and it's like captions and subtitles. They're basically the same thing. So you want to start when the voice starts speaking. So I'm just going to lengthen this here on the timeline and I'm just going to play a little little bit of the video and I'm going to stop it when the voice starts happening on the video. When you choose So it's about there and I can actually see it on the timeline that this gets a little larger than this part here. So that means that it's getting louder, something's louder. So in this case, it's the voice because she's speaking. So then you want to click add captions. Now what I like to do is I like to um, create little sections for the pauses in speaking. So before I even start typing out anything, I'm actually going to lengthen this a little bit and I'm going to play it and I'm going to listen to the section that I want to have show up on the screen at one time because you don't want to do like a subtitle closed captioning thing where you have like a whole paragraph on the screen. It's going to look messy and people reading are going to have a hard time reading because it's not happening in real time. You generally want these subtitles and captions to happen when the person is speaking on the video. So I'm going to press the play button here. I've stretched it out. I'm going to press the play button here. When you choose just security and sound, you can expect quality and reliability. Okay, so that's where I want it to end. Quality and reliability because you can hear there's like a pause happening. When you choose just security and sound, you can expect quality and reliability from the products we use. Yeah, so she, she did a pause there, so I'm going to end it at reliability. When you choose just security and sound, you can expect quality and reliability. Okay, so it's around right about here. And then I want to shorten this to that section. And I'm going to click on it again and hover this little thing over it. And I'm going to play it. And I want it to end off right when it says reliability. So you want to make sure that, that you size it accordingly. 
When you choose just security and sound, you can expect quality and reliability. When okay. you choose just security... So that's good in that. And this button here is going to keep replaying and replaying until you click stop. So that's kind of the good thing is it's just going to keep going and going until you get it. So I've gotten it. And now I want to go to my script because that's going to make it easier. So I'm here on the script right now that Arit wrote out. And I said that I wanted to end it at reliability. So it's right here. When you choose just security and sound, you, you can expect quality and reliability. So right there, if I have it already written out, it's going to make it easier because I, all I need to do is just copy and paste. If I had to listen to that, I would probably need to listen to it a bunch more times if I didn't know what was actually being said. So it's best if you already have a script. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to place that. I'm going to go control V and that's in there. And this uh, size of text is really big. So I want it to go smaller. So what I do is I'm going to highlight it, click this a arrows button and I'm going to lower the size. You can change the font, color, and the fill. If you want the fill-in to be a different color, and I'll show you what the fill-in is. So I generally like to have one or two lines of text on the screen because it's going to look a lot cleaner when you only have one or two lines and you have the font a little bit smaller. So I'm going to show you what I mean. And to check out what it looks like on the actual screen, you just click right here and you click out like on the outer part of the video and you can see it right here. When you choose just security and sound, you can expect quality and reliability. It's like a one line, it's not too big and it's it just looks clean. If I were to have like a whole paragraph there, it wouldn't look very good. So I'm not done uh, editing that. So I'm going to go and click back into it and you just click into it. And then in this box right here, you can alter you can change things around if you've misspelt or if you left out a word, you can add it in there. And then, like I said, when you click here, you can change the properties. So you can have the text bold, italics, change the font, change the color of the font, size of the font, and the fill-in is black. You saw that there was like a little fill-in here. This right here is black. Let me just go back into it. You can change the color of that if you want. Generally, it is a black. And then this opacity means that it's slightly see-through. And that's usually how they do subtitles on the screen is the background for the font, font is slightly see-through. And it's not like a full uh, black uh, bar on the bottom of the screen. You can also do the alignment of the actual text. So I generally have it in the center. So I'm going to click highlight it and then click center and then you'll see that it's more in the center and it looks good. So now when I'm done that part and I want to continue on, I'm going to click the plus button here and it's going to add another blank caption section and I'm going to press play and see what that part covers and then if I need to shorten it or stretch it out. So I'm going to click play from the products we use to the service we provide our access control from the products we use okay to the so I'm gonna pause that and I'm gonna stretch it out because she's still talking and let's maybe put it there and see what happens from the products we use to the service we provide our access control system installations are uniquely tailored to your needs from the products we okay I think I need to stretch it out a little bit more from the products we use to the service we provide our access control system installations are uniquely tailored to your needs and allow you to manage who and from the products Okay, a little bit more. From the products we use to the service we provide. Our access control system installations are uniquely tailored to your needs and allow you to manage who enters and leaves your premises. Okay. So I'm going to shorten that because that's where I want it to end on premises. So I'm going to play it one more time. And I know that this is really repetitive, but this is what happens when you are adding captions and subtitles. You need to play it over and over again to get it right. From the products we use to the service we provide. 
Our access control system installations are uniquely tailored to your needs and allow you to manage who enters and leaves your premises. Okay. Products so that's good. Now I'm going to head over to the script again and grab that part from and end it on premises. Okay, so it was from here. I'm going to copy that. Paste it in here. This is probably going to be two lines. Now you'll see here that this all section here is in white and then here this line here is in gray. That means that part's going to get cut out and they don't allow you to have that much on the screen at once. So that's fine because I don't want that much anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the spacing here because it's a little bit messed up. And I'm actually going to make this font slightly smaller to bring it to two lines. So I've highlighted it and I'm going to lower this until I see two lines. There we go. 35. That looks okay. The alignment stays the same. Going to click over here to see it. And then from here. Now from here, you might be like, well, that's small, Jewel. Okay, well, if people are watching this on full screen, it's actually quite large and quite big. And it's very visible when you have it full screen playing on screen. So now I'm going to click here and I'm going to play it to make sure that it's right. From the products we use to the service we provide. Our access control system installations are uniquely tailored to your needs and allow you to manage who enters and leaves your premises. So now I'm going to click out of it and I'm going to play it to see what it looks like on the screen like regular. From the products we use to the service we provide. Our access control system installations are uniquely tailored to your needs and allow you to manage who enters. Okay, so it looks good to me. And if you are curious as to, you know, what this looks like on full screen, this is how you check out your video on full screen. You want to head over here, detach canvas. I know this is a weird way to go full screen. Um, detach canvas and then enlarge this part then it goes full screen. So we're not even at full screen, full screen. And you can see that this text is a good size for the screen. So now I'm going to minimize this and you just click reattach canvas and then it goes right back in there. But that's how you see full screen. So basically that is how you add subtitles, uh, closed captioning onto your video. And you would do that throughout your whole video until you're done. Now, you need to make sure that you do this part while rendering the video. Otherwise, your captions will not show up on the video. The first time that I tried doing this, uh, I would render the video and closed captioning was not there. And it was super frustrating and I actually spent hours trying to figure out why the closed captioning was not showing up on the video. And I will show you why and I'll show you how to fix it because it was quite frustrating when it first happened. So let's say I'm done, I'm ready to render the video. You want to click share, head over to local file. You want to make sure to click custom production settings, click next. You want to click this one here, MP4 smart player, click next. Then you want to head over all the way to options and you'll see here captions. Make sure that that is checked, that is checked, but you want to make sure caption type is burned in. You need to make sure that your caption type is burned in captions so that it physically shows on the video when you render it for your finalized version and the, then you'll, you can actually see it on your video like I showed you in the examples. Once you've done that then you can just basically click next. You don't really need to touch any of this stuff. Click next. If you have your video saved it will show your your production name or you can add it in here. When you click finish, then it's going to start rendering and then your video will have your subtitles and closed captioning in it. So that is it. That is how you add closed captioning subtitles in your videos in Camtasia. Make sure that you do that last step before you actually render your videos or else they won't show up. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please let me know by giving a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want more Camtasia tutorials, head down to the description below as I have a playlist of a bunch more free tutorials for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.